Welcome, my name is Mike, and today we are going to go over the ADS-B AirSense feature of the DJI Mavic Air 2. Not only are we going to see what happens in the DJI Fly app and the UAV video, but we're also going to see data from FlightAware's PiAware and AirMap. Now, before anyone gets too concerned, I wanted to reassure everyone that safety was observed. This flight was authorized by FAA's link system using AirMap. There are going to be more details about safety at the end of this video. All right, let's get into it. So there are two scenarios I wanted to go over. The first is an aircraft landing in the vicinity of the UAV. The second is an aircraft approaching from above the UAV. We'll start the Mavic Air hovering above the Purdue Football Performance Complex. Go Boilermakers! The UAV is overlooking the Purdue Airport, KLAF. The aircraft we're going to see is mostly Purdue Aviation students performing touch and goes in Cessnas. In the video, you can see an aircraft making a left-hand final approach to runway 23. You can barely see it over the horizon, but it's that little tiny speck. In the app, we see an orange aircraft icon captioned, manned aircraft detected nearby, fly with caution. It turns red as it changes directions towards me. It says, manned aircraft approaching, fly at safe altitude. I tried tapping on the icon and the caption, but there's no additional information. From PiAware, you can see the ADSB messages. It contains a lot of data like distance, ground speed, altitude, vertical rate. The aircraft type can be determined by cross-referencing some online databases. In the second example, an aircraft flew over the drone's position. The DJI app displays a map glowing and pulsing yellow. As the aircraft approaches, this turns to red. You get an audible alert and a screen message. Here's the data from PiAware. Unfortunately, the aircraft wasn't selected, so you can't see the data. It looks like the aircraft is at 15,000 feet. I think it's a great thing that DJI has made ADS-B available. I also believe there's room to improve on the way it alerts. When air traffic control sends out a traffic advisory, it sounds something like this. Boomer 23 Mike Zulu, traffic 12 o'clock, five miles eastbound. Altitude indicates 3,500. They provide bearing, distance, direction of travel, and altitude. It'd be nice if DJI could have an audible alert with this data. It could provide bearing, distance, relative altitude, direction of travel, and time to closest intercept. It'd be nice to have this information displayed on screen, but it's an understandable since this interface is already way too busy. Here, you can see AirMap's length authorization page. You can see the real-time data AirMap gives you. It is limited to the tail registration number. Here, you can see AirMap's length authorization code. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.